Hi guys. Hey, how's it going? Here we are again, uh, Kevin and Kim. Uh, we are going to do a season one recap. So kind of a end of the year uh, season. So a um, little bit about us, um, but you guys, we had very interesting time or so for in 2020 going into the COVID season. Uh, many of y'all have been following us throughout this whole time. We definitely appreciate uh, all the comments and all the support that, that everybody has kind of given us throughout the year. Uh, it has really been great. It's been a lot of ventures, a lot of memories that we've made in, in, uh, in the past year. Uh, so uh, many of y'all have followed us and known us. You know, we Kim and I started, we were avid tank campers and we've always uh, done all our camping. We've been camping for many years in tents. And last year, due to COVID, we uh, brought a uh, bought an RV or bought a travel trailer. So yep. because of the COVID season, I want to talk to you today about eight things that we enjoyed about camping campsites, adventures, disasters. Everything that, in a nutshell, that happened to us last yes. year. And we're going to compare our notes. So we have eight of them. And so I think the first one is, what? what's the first one? First one would be, what would be our best camping spot? Our best, where where was the, out of all the places that we went, what was the best spot that, that you had? To, to, what would you say? Um, Natural Falls. Yeah, Natural Falls. That is our, started with tenting and love it with RVing. The sides are level, there's trees. <laughs> Kim and her trees. And you know I love my trees. Yeah, Natural Falls definitely is. Uh, that's yeah. probably probably my number one on top of my list, too. Uh, Natural Falls State Park there in, in Oklahoma, yeah. outside of Salem Springs. Uh, you know, it's it, the, the spots are level. Yep. Uh, a lot of amenities. The bathrooms are clean. The, like Kim had mentioned, there's lots of trees because we like to do hammocking. Yeah. and. Just to kind of hang out. Lots of trails. Yes, yeah. Lots. Bike paths. They started on good bike trails, bike paths. Right. Um, not far from the Illinois River. To, yeah, so it's, it's to, kind of the to, area. Um, and there's a little bit further down the road, there's a little swimming hole. So there's a lot to do there. And it's not that far from the house, especially yeah. when you're just weekend warriors. Yeah, we can actually be there in only about 30 minutes or yeah. 30, 45 minutes. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Natural Falls definitely is probably my uh, my number one spot. Yeah, to mine too. too yep, so, absolutely. Uh, you know, definitely like that. Um, so the number two would be the worst camping spot. What, what was the worst camping spot that you think you had? For me, was when we stayed in Montanay. Because the funny thing is, like five minutes from Montanay. <laughs> is Horseshoe Bend. <laughs> yeah. And why didn't we stay there? Monday was just hilly, rocky, no tree coverage. The tables were broken down. It was run down. Monday was actually, that was an RV park. And I think yeah. that was our very first because it was close to the house. Uh, we thought, let's try it. 20, it was 20 minutes away. We found it, we never heard of it. So, um, yeah, Monday was, was was definitely uh, they didn't have a lot of amenities or anything there. No, I mean it was far from the from the lake. There was yeah, not really no no hiking trails. Not any. It was it was kind of more of a what? An if you're working in the area and you needed yeah, like an in town RV spot. They did have full mm -hmm. hookups and everything, but it it definitely uh, my my worst camp ground spot, which we love. The overall, we, we overall we love the the campground. It's actually one of the best, uh, but probably the worst uh, experience I had was probably a horseshoe bend. The first one we did at spot ninety three. That uh, me being on doing the backing, that yeah. was the most unlevel spot. Yes, we it we we went there sight unseen. This by far was the absolute worst nightmare on trying to level 
on that spot. Uh, we ended up, basically, we, for what we have, we definitely, I would highly recommend getting the Anderson blocks instead of these Lego chocks. That'll probably be our next investment. But we had to raise it up. Uh, I literally had to get our jack to change the tire just to get it up enough so we could finally get it on the stabilizer. Uh, yes. it, it was it was an absolute, it took us forever, a disaster to even uh, get into get into it. And I, mean, I think that's why we started doing overviews somewhat because the pictures were false. They were misleading, yeah. So, it said it said you can get a 40 foot camper in there man you can get a no. 20 foot we bear it we yeah. struggle we couldn't it, it was it was so tight so small we couldn't even unhook our truck right i mean we had to leave our truck connected to it because it wouldn't even wouldn't even disconnect from it so yeah, yeah that was probably yeah. you know the worst it also the spot that we had now not only you're wrong horseshoe bend's got a lot of nice spots a lot around but you've got yeah. to do your homework absolutely um, you know but uh it didn't have any water hookups nope. no sewer it was just electric only and, and it was right there on the lake so and pretty views though and trees biggest challenge that we had to to do this so but the view is amazing the view is this is what <laughs> kim was wanting to have, make sure she had a view of the lake <laughs> and so we do have a nice nice view right yeah, there was trees, but it was still. But it was still uh, to me. It was probably to, the for most. a two-hour to park versus Natural Falls, which literally 10, 15 minutes. Right. Yeah, being level and so, hop right in and go. Right. So, uh, you know. So number three would what, be. What, what was it? As y'all know, we like to not only do we do camping and RVing and traveling, but we also we also have a boat and we spend a lot of time on the lake. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's we. We, we do spend a lot of time on the lake. We like going to campgrounds at the lake and the state parks yep. and everything. Yep. So what would be your best lake experience that we had last year that you can think well, of? Well, there's several. Uh, one, uh, tubing all day, and then we went fishing, and I took like a two-hour nap. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> right. However, uh, I really enjoyed that it was my first time on the lake during July 4th. Yeah, 4th of July. That was pretty awesome. That was that was uh, that was definitely probably yeah. my most memorable. Uh, that was the first time we had either one of us had seen the fireworks off the lake. Uh, yeah, Fourth of July, Fourth of July weekend. That, that experience of watching the fireworks. We went out in July, and that was that was really was a was a good time. It was nice, but going home with all those boats. That was another adventure. Yeah, that was that yeah. was, but it, it was definitely uh, probably. I would do. I would do it again. The only other honorable mention one we did go to Prairie Creek in the beginning. One of our tubing trips, and that was one that Autumn and, oh. and Titus did a little, I don't know, aerobatic flying in the air. <laughs> As you can see in the video and everything below. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Uh, that was that was. That's probably, not Autumn's favorite. That's not Autumn's favorite, no. so she's still no. traumatized. She is. She is. So, what would be, what's our fourth one? Fourth one. What about the best places we've been to have some views? Well, wow. you know, you, you like your trees and you like to have a, what, what about places we've been that had some of the most gorgeous, their best views? So I need to have trees. <clears throat> I need to put my hammocks up and I would like a view. It, it, it could be a little creek. It could be the ocean. That's oh, yeah, nice. yeah, we haven't had an ocean view no, yet. No, not yet. We weren't like, um, yeah. Maybe I'll have a picture up in here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, so the lake. So, I mean, I kind of liked, um, Horseshoe Bend, site number 93, because the view and we could walk down to the water. It had trees, so we could hammock. But uh, our last spot, Treasure Isle, had a lake view, and oh, that yeah. was pretty. Not a lot of trees. Yeah, it was an RV park. So I would say Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend overall, or Horseshoe Bend spot 93? 93. 93. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's kind of what, that's kind of that's kind of what I had on page. my list. Now, yes, as we mentioned before, it was probably my worst spot to mm. back into to uh, do any of the uh, you know, it was disaster trying to back into. But however, uh, I did end up working a lot of that week, and it was really nice, you know, doing a conference call and looking out my window and seeing the lake. 
Uh, getting up in the morning, drinking our coffee, and just overlooking the lake it was it was eating actually, breakfast. Watching. Eating breakfast, it was yeah. a, it was it was definitely a, a nice view. It was. Uh, so I mean, it had a little payoff uh, that that we did with it. So, mm -hmm. uh, but probably one of my other one that I liked, I liked when we went to when we took our trip to Tennessee, uh, the Lake Darnell. Uh, oh. When we went to uh, that was had a nice view and everything that we did, but it also. Uh, just the view of on top of Mount Nebo uh, that we did when we did that drive yeah. up that road that was real yeah. curvy and yeah. we, we, we would have camped on top of Mount Nebo but it was uh, it was so curvy and so everything you, you couldn't get more than a 20 foot you know small little teardrop or yeah, or even pop then. up or something, and even then it would have been pretty treacherous. So it's yeah. Uh, but on top of Mount Nebo in Arkansas, Mount Nebo, Arkansas, the view is actually spectacular. Yes. Uh, overlooking the whole Arkansas Valley, it's one of the highest points in Arkansas. So very beautiful. Yeah, that's definitely something. But that that would be probably one of my most views. And another thing we like to do: not only do we like to do boating and everything, but we like to do a lot of hiking. Do we? Uh, well, I do. I like hiking. No. I know. Not when they have 600 steps. Well, you know, hiking's good. It's good. Keeps us keeps us in shape and try to be uh, the outdoors. But uh, well, uh, I know we we've done so, a lot of hiking. A lot of our so videos. number five, I guess, is yeah. What well, number five would be? What the best hiking? The one I wrote down. The best hiking experience. I mean, that we have. We did, you know, a couple waterfalls, straight up, straight down. One with many like steps. Like Mount Laurel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, many steps. I mean, Natural Falls, you can walk right down to it. That's pretty cool. But yeah. for me, my best hiking was Mount Nebo. Mm. Best thing about this hike, you get immediate rewards right away when you get started. So, so what do you think of this view? It's nice. This is absolutely stunning. Okay. Yeah. When I kind of got lost. Yeah, whatever. I, I enjoyed it. It right off the get go. The you get the you you said. You know, usually when you hike, you the end results. Yeah, yeah. You hike. You hike a mile in somewhere yeah. just to see some beautiful oh. overlook or some you know waterfall yeah. or something that you you hike to something. And you start off. This looking. one, absolutely. Yeah, you start off on top, and the and the view, yeah. the view. I mean, you got immediate gratification. Yeah. That's what you're looking. Yeah. Immediate gratification. Yeah, there. that's the word. Yeah, that was yeah. mine. That was my favorite. Uh, that uh, yeah, that that was that was probably near definitely. Uh, that was one of my uh, one of my favorite. But I, I also I really enjoyed. Uh, the, the Cloud Canyon. Right, here we are. We are at the Canyon Creek. There we go, we'll do this little hike. Right? Yep. <laughs> well, this is absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, walk right in and already have a... Uh... When we were coming back and everything on top of Lookout Mountain, that was it was it was the same type thing that it had just to start out it had beautiful yeah. views that we did and then uh, even though we did we did a hike we hiked down to the waterfall uh, this. this is worth the hike well this is definitely worth the hike down I don't know about going the steps back up but it definitely is beautiful so short hike yeah we didn't no. do the <laughs> we didn't do we did the 400 stairs and not there but but the hike down to the waterfall was absolutely gorgeous i mean you you come around the corner you're thinking that it was and it was like wow this yeah. this was worth it now the walk up or the hike up all those stairs was was definitely uh yeah challenging but but that was another one there i liked there on, on that lookout mountain there in cloudland that it's it over the yeah. bluffs overlooked it was beautiful views right from the get-go yeah and uh and then you know you had some satisfaction going down to the waterfall uh that was probably one of one of my favorite right uh, one of my favorite hikes outside of mount nemo yeah i had not, mount nemo definitely was at the top of my list absolutely so what's number six uh, number six, we have probably what, what was the most disastrous trip? Okay, so, so love hate. 
Horseshoe Bend. Back at it, Horseshoe Bend, yes. Number 93. Spot number 93 at Horseshoe One, Bend. One, we could not unhook the truck from the RV, and because we couldn't do that, we couldn't have a campfire, a, a good campfire. So that was a downfall. And to get out of the front door to go to the picnic table, you had to walk around the whole truck. Right. And so that was... We, we also didn't have any water, since we didn't have no water hookups. Uh, that was the one we thought Nathan had left filled him in charge, yep. filled it up, and we had to dump water uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, our son, when I left him in charge to filling up the, the fresh water tank, Got hit by a drunk driver. I mean, yeah, that and was. And it rained. And it rained the next day. Couldn't do anything. Yeah. So, yeah. You having fun out here? No, not at all. Oh. Yeah, that definitely, uh, uh, you know, that was probably one of the most disastrous one of them, uh, yes. that, that we did. So, uh, the only other one which Nathan had mentioned was uh, when we went to Bar Barlesville in the very yeah. beginning. And the very first night we were there, and Autumn drops her bike on my toe and broke my big toe. So that was, you know, it, it turned out to be a good trip, but I mean, that was a disaster happened to me, but what is our next? Number seven. What was the most memorable trip that, I mean, like the most memorable, oh, okay. not in a good way, not in a bad way, but probably one of the places that you, you would say, you know what, we, I would like to go back to. Uh, you know? Autumn and Nathan said this, I say this, Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee, that, that trip to Tennessee. Uh, to the Smoky oh Mountains. Gosh, Smoky Mountains was was if you if you ever get a chance to visit, definitely Absolutely. visit Smoky Mountains. There's so much to do there. I mean, even if you don't do the sites, the the commercialized. Stuff. Yeah, like Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, Laurel Falls. Come on now. Yeah, there was another <laughs> at Laurel Falls, another hike at Laurel Falls. But yeah, it was. I would go back. I would like to spend like two weeks. I don't think we got to see everything. I know we really didn't. So, no. but no, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, the Smoky Mountain trip was definitely uh, it just just once you're there, being there, there's there's definitely was was a lot to do. Um, you know, probably the other place I mentioned I'd like to go back and go visit was uh, Lake Darnell and Mount Nemo. I'd like yeah. to do a little bit more around there. We, we, Especially in the summer, we didn't get to take the boat. Right. Yeah. We 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 were there during the fall. You know, passing through. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I think there, there's a lot more hiking trails even there at, at Lake Darnell. And, and, and the, there was a visitor center we didn't get to see. Right. That, so, was, that was closed down. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, that, and that's somewhat that's close. That's you know, a couple hours away from it. Yeah. So, we can, we so for a weekend warrior, I think we could manage that. Manage that as a, as a trip. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Lastly, the last category that, that we number thought eight. was number eight, which we said some of our scariest moments. Okay, this Myself. Is, this is directed at me. This is probably more for him <laughs> because me, I'm more of an adventurous and I don't really get scared much of nothing. I, I'm, you know, take on everything. But however, Kim here is, I mean, she's scared of everything. I am. Like. So. I am. Yeah, I mean. It, but I do it. She does. She does it. She does it, but it, she does a lot of things, but yet. So, what would you say? I had no scary moment. No. Okay, wait. But I would say probably with you, you were freaked out when we went to the wild wilderness when the animals climbed in the car. The emus. Yeah, the emus. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Kale, so there's your buddy. <laughs> Yeah, they were scary. Some of our hiking that we did, Branson over, Lovelock, and all that. You was oh, a little scared of that. Yes, the you Mount Nebo, the drive. Uh, oh, oh my Atlantis! Yes, you'd be stuck. There'd be no way. The chairlift up in Tennessee. Not right, going going up, going up on top of the uh, mountain there. Maybe yeah, and over Gatlinburg. I mean, he had to go again because I had to. Because you were scared. I had to wait 30 minutes to get my confidence. <laughs> Well, here we are. I was able to get Kim to uh, come on this. I know, right? Y'all all know how Kim is afraid of heights. <laughs> so. You were scared of the horseback riding? I was. Every time I look back, uh, I was scared. I was. I know. What are you not scared of? Um, I don't know. 
I'm sure to name something. I don't like to go on the boat. I don't. You're probably scared of making these videos, aren't you? I do. I, don't <laughs> I do like camping. You do like camping. That is one thing I am not afraid of. No, camping. that is. Bring the camping. You are not afraid of camping. So. Yes. But anyway, um, we did have a lot of good memories. Yeah. You know, but the one thing, the one takeaway I remember someone saying was get started and yeah. whatever it is that, that you have. If it's if it's a tent, then go out and make memories in a tent. Yeah. If it's if it's a small pop up or a camper, RV, whatever, get started with what with what you have. You know, we encourage you know we encourage a lot of people and friends you know that, that are really thinking or kind of on the fence of uh, getting a, yeah. a camper or something like that. Man, just just do it. Go out and make those memories. You know, uh, and and that's really what what looking back at this at our season one. Uh, is is really looking at all the memories that we made. Yeah. Well, for me, because we camp anyways, regardless. But when we went to Tennessee, that was our first two weeks. It was our big outing. Outing big away from the you know the thirty minute parks near our house. But when we went sightseeing all day and did all that, we came back. It felt like we were coming home, not to right. hotel or cabin. Our stuff was there. It felt good. Right. We were in, more energized. I felt like, I don't know, it, it was a different vacation than, Experience. than staying in a hotel and cabins and stuff. Right. So. Uh, going into next week, uh, next week we are going to do our, probably our season kickoff. Here we are going to end one season doing a recap and we're going to kick off uh, season two. Yeah. So we have a lot of uh, don't want to secrets wanna, to tell. Don't you. want to uh, spoil anything or tell yeah. anything on this video, uh, but uh, but we've got a lot of a uh, lot of exciting plans, a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of trips that we kind of have planned, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, you know changes that we've that we've kind of done. Yeah, that we're gonna do, and so uh, you know, so we're we're pretty excited about about some of that. So. Yeah. Uh, but we're looking forward to another great year, hopefully 2021. It uh, turns out to be a good year uh, with yeah. us even going through the COVID season and, and everything. I think, uh, you know, we're looking forward to another great season uh, here coming up in season two. So we're yeah. pretty, pretty excited. So definitely uh, appreciate everyone out there and uh, pretty good. I guess we'll see you next week. Yep, so please make sure y'all tune in for next week and along with you with Kevin and Kim Outdoor Adventures. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye.